Good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are taking a, or taking a visit rather to the Humane Society of Harlingen to learn all about this year's Clear the Shelters campaign and how you can lend a hand in their mission to help local dogs and cats. We've got information on tips for parents of babies and essentials that can keep uh, the little ones healthy and entertained. Plus, we've got so much more. Now, there is a lot going on, so don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Content segments during Valle Por Vida were paid for by the Sonic Grilled Cheeseburger. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, local animal shelters across the country are once again teaming up with NBC to find loving homes for pets in need with the Clear the Shelters Pet Adoption and Donation Campaign. So our team, Valley Por Vida, went ahead and spoke with their team at the Humane Society of Harlingen to learn all about how we can help. Go ahead and take a look. Good morning. Uh, we're here at the Humane Society of Harlingen. Uh, my name is Luis Quintanilla and I'm the executive director here. And uh, uh, we're just here to talk about Clear the Shelter. Uh, we've got a ton of amazing animals here ready for adoption, ready for foster, that are just looking for a good home. And uh, we're here seven days a week, so come on by. So a common phrase you hear in animal welfare, uh, especially with shelter workers, is the, the phrase adopt, don't shop. And what we're really targeting there is the breeder industry. There are tens of thousands of animals just in the valley alone that are completely without a home. Uh, you know, they, they are just as beautiful and wonderful and lovable as any animal that you get from a breeder and, you know, they're in need right now. So we always encourage people to, you know, to step away from that, you know, shopping uh, for animals and, and go to your local shelter uh, to adopt one that's in need. And the Humane Society of Harlingen is no different. We get over 5,000 cats and dogs every single year. And uh, luckily we've been no kill for over two years now or almost two years now. And um, it's all due to people uh, coming in to adopt. Yeah, so everything that we do here at the Humane Society of Harlingen is to try to, to sustain and grow our, our impact uh, for people and the pets in the community. So nothing could be done without, without the community support. There's only nine of us on staff, including myself, but we have an army of volunteers and an army of donors and supporters and local partners, uh, individuals and, and businesses that, that love animals. And you know, it's a pretty uniting uh, cause, you know, who can say no to a cute cat or a cute dog, you know, and uh, we've been able to sustain our operations for, for over a year and a half now. Uh, we haven't euthanized a single animal for space and uh, it's been pretty exciting. It's really rewarding, not only to see all those tails wagging, um, but it also is a human factor. You know, our staff, you know, I think we're much happier than we've ever been because we're able to save so many animals, uh, far more than we ever did before. And every single day we give out food uh, to people in the community who who have fallen on hard times to try to keep those families together so they don't have to turn to surrendering them uh, to the shelter. Uh, we started that pet food pantry at the start of COVID last year and it's been sustainable ever since and it's all due to the generosity of the community. So yeah, come on by, we need, we need your help. Good morning, everyone. We're here at the Humane Society of Harlingen. My name is Elizabeth Gomez. I'm at the Director of Community Engagement for the Humane Society. So I wanted to talk about uh, donations. Here at the shelter, uh, donations are very important and uh, we rely on the community uh, to give us cat food, dog food, toys, whatever they can help with. And uh, we do have a wish list on our website and that's hshtx.org. The community has been so amazing to us. Uh, they bring donations sometimes on a daily basis when we need them the most. So as a thank you to that community, uh, we host a low cost clinic every month and we are having uh, the next one on the 18. Unfortunately, all those spots have been filled, but we are going to have one for October. So that's our way of saying thank you to the community by giving low cost medications and low cost vaccines. So. Obviously, we do want all of our animals to get adopted, but sometimes that's not possible. And uh, people think and overthink if they want to adopt or not. So we do have uh, several options to help people uh, make a more informative decision when it comes to adopting. So we have several ways of fostering. 
So you can foster an animal long term and that's between one or six months. Uh, you can take them on a field trip, trip on a field trip. You can uh, take them on a sleepover overnight. Just if you can take that animal out of the shelter life for a couple of hours, that benefits them greatly. So we do encourage the public to do that. And there's, like I said, several types of fostering and sometimes we do have babies that need uh, bottle feedings, syringe feedings, and that is what we call long-term um, fostering. So uh, Clear the Shelter goes until September 19 and we do have several exciting promotions going on right now at the shelter and it's going to be for both fosters and adopters. So for adopters, everybody that adopts a pet from the Humane Society automatically qualifies for a year of free vaccines for that adopted pet. And then you get, um, you enter into a raffle for free uh, tick and um, flea prevention medication. And that's really expensive, so it's a pretty, pretty great deal to be in this raffle. And now for fosters, if you foster one of our animals, any kind of animals for a minimum of two weeks, you get a voucher for a free spay and neuter surgery for your own pet. And it gets even better. If uh, you find an adopter for your foster, that person gets a voucher for free vaccines for a year. So it's, it's exciting. If you're interested in fostering, adopting, we have so many information in our website, hshtx.org. There's also a lot of information for volunteering. We are very active on our social media, so make sure you head on to Facebook, head on to Instagram, and see what we're posting. And hey, we post pictures of cute animals, so who doesn't want to see that? The team at Humane Society of Harlan Gin would like us all to remember, don't shop adopt and they're happy to help us foster or volunteer to lend a hand in their mission so feel free to reach out to them at hshtx.org for those details and please visit valleycentral.com if you'd like more information on the clear the shelters campaign content segments during valle por vida were paid for by the sonic grilled cheeseburger All right, well, one leading credit card review and comparison site is releasing predictions for the next six months of the calendar year about how the pandemic affected the credit card industry. And this representative explains what consumers should expect, both positively and negatively. Uh, so here are some tips that you should keep in mind with today's Safety Check segment. Good morning, everybody. This is Brooklyn Lowry. I am the credit card analyst with CardRatings.com, and I am looking forward to talking about credit cards and what you guys can expect for the next few months of 2021 and maybe a peek into 2022 as well. So credit cards are an excellent financial tool. They um, can be used by just about anybody, no matter kind of where you're coming from. If you're new to credit, if you've had um, credit cards for years. You can find them and one that will work for you. The thing you have to keep in mind is that credit cards are specific and just because a celebrity tells you this one is great or you get a mailer that says it's a fabulous bonus offer, you still have to know that it's the right one for you. So I always tell people, check your own finances first, your own budget, your own lifestyle, particularly your own credit score and then think about the card you want to apply for. Don't be lured by the flashy advertisement. So travel rewards are actually what got me into credit cards many years ago because I wanted to take fabulous trips, but I did not have the bank account that would necessarily support that. So um, credit cards are a great way to do that. And right now, even if you aren't traveling, because like you said, the pandemic has changed travel plans for a lot of people. We're only at about 70% of where we were pre-pandemic um, right now. So that's something to think about, but most travel rewards don't expire. So as long as you have the card, you can start building rewards, get that bank built up, because someday we will travel again. Travel will return. Uh, it has to a great degree, but in full, it will. And if you have been collecting rewards during this whole pandemic time with all your takeout and your grocery delivery and your Netflix, then those rewards can be redeemed for a fabulous trip when you are ready to hit the air again. Sure, so with the pandemic last year, we saw banks pivot very quickly and they tried to make their traditional travel rewards cards 
useful for consumers who were staying at home. So we saw cards that they offered usually higher rewards for your travel purchases, all of a sudden adding in things like, oh, we'll give you extra rewards when you order in. Um, or will allow you to redeem rewards in a way that isn't travel, but is still very valuable to you. So we have seen a lot of those stick around. Um, some really perennial favorite travel rewards cards, for instance, like Chase Sapphire Preferred or um, the American Express Platinum card, favorite cards, but have really added sort of a lifestyle component in a lot of ways um, that have made them useful for people, even when you're at home for whatever reason, you know, it's not just pandemics that keep people home for a season. It could be, you know, changes in family or job or, or whatever. So I have been really excited to see that some of those pandemic fixes that people did for their cards have stuck around um, even into 2021. And as it appears right now, it looks like they're gonna be here going forward long-term. Yeah, it has not been an easy 18 months for small business owners in any way. And unfortunately, as, as their businesses were struggling, banks were also sort of um, mitigating risk and were not as, um, as likely to extend credit cards, small business credit cards at that point. We saw marketing for those cards really slow down and we got a lot of anecdotal stories from readers just saying, I can't get approved for a small business card right now. The good news for small business owners, in addition to the economy sort of opening back up, is that we're seeing credit cards come back um, for small business owners. Um, you can learn a lot from how banks market their products, and banks are marketing small business credit cards again, which means, in theory, that they want to you know, offer those to people. So um, I think small business owners, the same advice is true for them as for a consumer, right? Make sure you have all your ducks in a row. You know your what your, your business revenue is. You know um, your personal credit score because unless you have a business credit score, your personal credit score is going to be what determines whether you're approved for even a small business credit card. So um, there is good news for small business owners. So I guess my, my comment to them would just be hang in there. Things, things are moving in the right direction at this point. Right, so no amount of a uh, credit card bonus, no amount of rewards is ever going to make paying interest worth it. Your interest will eat into every bit of value you would get from that bonus and those rewards. So the best advice is always to pay your balance off in full every single bill the billing cycle. Now, right now, interest rates are as low as they have been um, in many years. They can't really go any lower. So you have to expect that at some point in the future, they're going to start going up. Given that, it is more important than ever to get those balances paid off as soon as you possibly can so you can enjoy those rewards that you have so that you're not um, sort of losing value on your card. Um, make the card work for you, don't work for the card. Their team says that most of the country is slowly returning to normal and with the holiday season rapidly approaching, it's a good idea to take these tips into consideration. Now you can feel free to visit the website on your screen if you'd like more information and credit card tips. All right, well, it's not, now time to take a commercial break, and then we've got to look at your local weather updates, but be sure to stay tuned because Dali Por Vida will be back. And we'll have information for parents of babies to keep in mind when it comes to their health and well-being. Those tips plus more coming up.